yo, yo, what is up, what is up, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's Key, and I'm back in the building with another video. This game yesterday, you know what, y'all, I honestly cannot be mad. I mean, of course you can be mad at Doug Peterson or his play calling in the second half, but I, overall, you cannot be mad at this it started off a little rocky. I know they got off to that 19 nothing lead. And then, you know, he toned it down and turned it around and, you know, started scoring. Jalen Hurts is the most confident, poised rookie I've ever seen in my life so far. Seen nothing, seen, seen nothing like him. To go in there, you know, last week he did have 18 rushes and over 100 yards rushing. This game, not so much running from him, but we've seen more of him passing. And when I say his balls were accurate, um, Greg Ward, court two, and then Quez Watkins finally gets one off of that ridiculous play call that Quez actually bounced off the spin move and made it look good and scored. First half is pretty much balanced, but I still don't understand why Doug does not want to utilize Miles Sanders in the second half. It was non existent in the second half. Non existent. Jalen Hurts played phenomenal 24, 44, 368 yards, four touchdowns on a day, one rushing, three passing. That's a hell of a day for a rookie. Um, didn't have no turnovers. He did get sacked um, six times. But that's the offensive line who's had 15 changes. And nobody can get no chemistry off that. Carson Wentz, Jalen Hurts can't survive on this offense under Doug Peterson. I don't know why he's calling the calls that he's playing that he's throwing. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Um why not use Miles Sanders? Last week he was awesome. He had his first hundred yard game. And then y'all don't go back to him. Why not run with 26? What is wrong with it? What is wrong? Um I I, I just don't get it. It was, you know, the defense did pretty good. You know, it did pretty good in my book. Even though, you know, they couldn't contain a D-hop. 168 yards receiving and a touchdown. That touchdown was just beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Jalen Hurts did throw, you know, to Dallas Goddard in the end zone. He dropped it. That would have been amazing if he would have caught that. I, like I said, I don't have too much to say about this game. I'm not even mad at how Jalen Hurts played or how the Eagles played as a whole. I'm just, like, we're just over us Eagles fans being frustrated as I'm passing Lincoln Financial Field, by the way. Um, it's just, what is Doug doing with this, this play calling? Like, I don't understand it. And then for, like, short yardage, when we need some yards, if I'm not mistaken, Eagles Nation, tell me if I'm wrong. Did we not sign a Jordan Howard? Is he more of a, he's more of a power back, you know, type of get your short yardage type of situations back? So you see Lincoln Financial Field in the background. Why not use Jordan Howard? Like, what was the point of bringing him back if he's just going to sit on the bench? It seems, is it all shine starting to produce? But I'm just like, why? I get it. He's a tall receiver. He can catch. He's not the fastest. But why not just focus on using the younger guys? The Quez Watkins, the Jalen, the Jalen Riegers, the Travis Fogum. Now Travis Fogum came alive towards the end of the game and it was great. That's why I'm like, where has he been? Arshon comes in, his targets get 
you know, not he's not targeted like that. Ertz and and Goddard was used. So just like Jalen Hurts did utilize everybody. My only issue this game was because it clearly could have won. Um, like the last four minutes, we driving and then them key sacks um, that the offense that the offense line did give up. That was crucial. We lost our punter, so we really couldn't. He was a punter and a holder, by the way. So we really couldn't kick any extra points or anything. Um, that's why we missed that extra point from the begin with, because Zach Ertz couldn't hold on to the ball. That was a long snapper's fault. Ertz couldn't handle it. We missed the extra point. So I... It's just Doug. Like... He's a Debbie Downer in this video. Like I said, I can't be more happy about my guys. They battled because, you know, going up against a D Hop and Hassan Reddick, who had five sacks last week. Um, and this defense with Patrick Peterson and Buda Baker. So they're physical and Jordan Hicks, um, you know, a linebacking core. So it's just Doug with this play calling, play calling, play calling. And then Carson, I get it. You're upset. But at the same time, bro, you gotta be humble about what's going on this season. You're not gonna be this you're not gonna be a start. You're, you're not gonna be starting for the remain for the remaining games. Just be humble. For you to go publicly and say, you know, oh, well, I don't wanna be here if I'm gonna be a backup. We get it. If you didn't play like Pooh, you would still have a job. If you didn't hold on to the ball all the time, you would still have a job. If you didn't make bad decisions with the throws and countless interceptions, guess what? You would still have a job right now. But suck it up, buttercup. Put your big boy draws on, support your teammate, and be there for him until the end of the season. Next year, if things change, get your starting job, go out there and perform like we know you know how to do. But until then, shut up. Be there for your teammate. And then see him through. Because honestly, Carson, Jalen is playing better than you. He doesn't hold on to the ball. He steps into the pocket. He throws when he needs to. He throws it away when he has to. He's mobile. You don't hold on. He gets the ball out fast. You sit there and wants to hold on to the ball, and then you get sacked 99 times. Anyway, that is my post-game recap of the Philadelphia Eagles losing to the Arizona Cardinals, 33-26. to well, Like I said, overall, it was a good game. Jalen Hurts um, played well. Of course, you don't like losing, um, but that's how it goes. Next week, well, this week... We played them boys. You know it's Cowboys week again. And uh don't care if we go two and fourteen, you know you always wanna be Dallas. So let's like make it a clean sweep with Dallas. And then as always, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think, Eagles Nation. I uh, need the key in the building merch. I got the key in the building merch. So you have to do just go to www dot spotlight sports network slash merch get all your key in the building get shirts hats hoodies it's hoodie season so i'll see y'all another video